Hello, this is Olympia and welcome to another Wednesday update video. So, again, this one may be later than, like, I can usually get them out because I'm going somewhere today, like, every Wednesday. Um, but it'll be earlier than last time because last time I was out until 5. But I'm recording this before I go and then it'll be able to be... I think I've gone to the wrong place. Never mind. So I'm recording this before I go and then I'll edit it when I get back. So it should speed it up a bit. But... Yeah, I'm gonna see where the hell I'm going. Okay, why? What's the quest log? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's in Firgrove. Also, I'm on Spirit today, so I've actually enjoyed finishing training all my horses because now I can actually just ride horses I really want to in videos. Because instead of having to like ride a specific one, there it is. Look at that! I knew where it was totally. Um, so I guess we start. So it's in Fairgrove, not in Veildale. I just thought it was in Veildale. You ever notice how not much stuff actually happens in Veildale? Um, the Resting Trail Ride is a tradition of celebrating new connections that take place each spring in Yorvik. All riders are given a piece of red string to tie at the end of the trail. Legend says that by tying the string together with someone you care about, the bond between you will last forever, whether between friends or between horse and rider. Completing the trail will give you 100 horse XP once a day. You can go on the trail as many times ride as many times as you want but the horse xp will be rewarded the first time each day so i'm wasting a lot of xp here but then i don't have any other horses to give it to i suppose so i guess we just follow like the trail so the trail ride is actually pretty chill usually i don't really come up here very often but i really should because it's really it's a good um vantage point to see all of your work also has some cool picture opportunities here. That tree just fell down as well. <laughs> it's quite chill. I thought there'd be people. Oh, I suppose you can do this with your friends, I suppose. I'm just rushing through it because I don't have friends, so. <laughs> Getting very foggy. I like the ambience changes. That's quite cool. Oh, we went the wrong way. Down the mountain we go. The fog makes it really hard to see, though. So. There it is. I'm trying to find these things in the fog. Also, that's <laughs> weird. I guess we keep going this way then. Yeah, I think that's right. Why is it so foggy? I mean, I appreciate the ambience, but like, it is really creepy. Look at this. Do we have a bit of red string that we have to drag? Yes. Trail complete. This is actually a very cute area. Also, next week the dragon horses are coming out and I'm 100% getting one eventually. Like, I don't know when exactly I'll be getting it, but yeah. I already have a name for it because I was naming horses recently. <laughs> and yeah, you'll see that video on Sunday, by the way. I got photobombed by a butterfly. It took me like eight minutes to do this. Why are these updates so short? It's probably because they're doing something that requires a lot more effort, so they're trying to like do these smaller updates so they can have time to do that. But still, why is this so short? <gasps> oh, I recently unlocked the one where you could go on a picnic with these two, and they are adorable. Remember to take care of your horse at the end of the ride. Silver Spirit carried you all the way up here, and so a nice reward should be in order. What does Alex have to say? Oh, you're oh hey, you're here too. <laughs> wow third wheel the view f from here is really something else isn't it seeing everything that we're fighting to protect really puts into things into perspective Jorvik is such a gorgeous place oh, he's i tried talking to lynx but it seems he's not much for intelligent conversation kind of reminds me of alex really hey i heard that is there anybody else around here we can talk to i'm gonna guess no but we can have a look I feel like I'm just following this person. Okay, that tree. I mean, it's one way to get down the mountain. Slide. Fairgrave is so gorgeous, I'm not there. And you can see the mountain pass that leads you into Dino Valley. And you can see Starshine Ranch. Well, you can't really see it. You can see the outline of it. And you can see South Hoof and Fort Pintar. You can't because it's not there, but you would be able to 
it really is amazing how far you can see. I mean, most things won't load in, but I wonder what I can see from the other side. So I did have a look, but I didn't really like point anything out. Whoa, okay. Stop. This is where I was doing sliding a few weeks ago. So you can see Dine Valley. This is the lake. Feodel. I mean, this is just a great opportunity just to explore a bit of Jorvik that you might not come to very recently because it's not got really, like the Valdar mountains really should have a race because they're quite interesting terrain to get over. It'd be quite challenging to race around the Valdar mountains. You can see the Harvest Counties, yeah, Pona, Moorland, directly below us would be the forest, I don't know what it's called. That one needs to be updated. Um, hollow, hollow for is that what it's called? Hollow Woods, Hollow Woods. I knew what it was called totally. Steve's farm. There's the windmill, which means that that's Silverglade Village. I wonder what's up there. Silverglade Castle. And like, manor and stuff. That means that's Fort Pinta. I know I pointed that one out earlier, but I was like, there's a random line mass. I wonder what that is. Never seen that before. And then realized it was actually Fort Pinta without the <laughs> castle the fort there's the south hoof and that's where it connects with a pona i haven't unlocked a pona i have no idea how to unlock a pona because i'm level 18 i've got okay reputation with the dino valley people i don't know what else i have to do because at this point it's like what do you want from me so yeah i have no idea how to unlock a pona i guess i'll just do it eventually Anyway, so I guess that's all I can say about this update is that it's very interesting and I enjoyed playing it. So thank you very much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram, olympia.peacechild. Follow my Twitch, Olympia Peace Child. And whilst I actually am talking about like subscribing and stuff, I actually hit 500 subscribers really recently. And that is just like amazing for me. That's half a thousand. Um, and that's crazy to think about <laughs> that half a thousand people 500 people want to listen to me just ramble <laughs> so yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next video bye plant